This weekly is completely dominated by ailments. With Manticore, Phoenix, and Frostwolf, you can wipe out any highly statted pet with ease. That's where our champion Mr. Whale Shark comes into play. He literally eats the ailments for breakfast, gets stronger from them, and it is the one true counter to the weekly. It can single-handedly counter some of the strongest Phoenix Manticore teams. But this is pretty solid. Not too bad. Run a Basilisk Pig in the front. Maybe not in the front. One behind. I just got a feeling. Mm-hmm. Had a feeling. Something was telling me it actually should have been further back with all those pigs out there. Well, it works out. An early wasp or an ox. I mean, I kind of want to try an ox dodo. That seems like a fun combo. We've already got a little bit of it cooking here. Hmm. Mm, that's unfortunate. Maybe go cupcake. Pretty sure those are the exact same pets. Can anyone confirm? Give me a chupacabra. Chupacabra dodo is also not bad. Steam's looking good. We got the ox for just enough support here. I think the flea is better than Frostwolf, I would argue. For now, maybe we run it because it'll pair well with the Chupacabra. But I don't think long term. Yeah, this doesn't seem great. None of these are actually that good. There's like a little bit of summon support this weekly, which is kind of weird. Our ox got transformed. Is that my fault? That is definitely my fault. <laughs> what is this guy doing here? Get rid of you. Roll me. There's the dodo we're looking for. Definitely give you a croissant. Probably give the ox a croissant too, right? Assuming he's going to stick around for any somewhat extended period of time. Okay, get a little buffs cooking here. Ooh, a little bit off. Go here. I mean, I'll honestly give bacon here just to get it cooking a little more. Because right now we're hurting a little bit. That's just the just matter of fact. Okay, good. Oh, not quite. Start me with a level. Alpaca's huge for pivots. Let's do that. Give her a cockatoo. I don't have any good feints. I want to get rid of the frost wolf if possible. Mm, turtle. Turtle could be good to reapply melon when it inevitably gets overthrown. Can we try something like that? Even like a whale shark maybe because he's not going to get consumed by the, the sickness in which case we'd get rid of chupacabra but let's not do it quite yet i want to get the alpaca trigger on the whale shark and then the alpaca is probably going to go Okay, good, good. Guess what I mean, we're overriding. And we're drawing. Okay, so now let's do this. Roll me. Not even close to level threes. 
Here's the flea. Flea could be interesting. Okay, turtle's more important here. Husky's not gonna cut it for obvious reasons. Um, alpaca won't either. We already kind of have the team that we're setting up. We're not making great use of the turtle here though, admittedly, with the ox. Maybe we're better off like this. I think I might like this better actually. As long as our ox doesn't get sniped in the back there. Which is definitely possible. Okay. See, he's not big enough to, to win, but he's big enough to draw. Sometimes that's where you win. Chicken seems pretty important here, potentially. We're already kind of getting the scaling without it. Roll me. Okay, ditch the flea. Let's try something like this. We're at a weird gold count right now, so I'm trying to decide the best way to approach it. I think if we do this, get a toy cooking, and then throw in a cockatoo, refresh that. I think that's the best way to do it, though I'm not convinced, admittedly. Oh, he's off by one, that hurts. Go here, try to get this big turtle cooking. Ooh, that's big. I wonder if this is a sauropod angle. Or a phoenix angle, even. Phoenix is a pretty solid pet to throw in the back. Do something like this. That's not bad, actually. I kind of like that. We've got two kind of halves of a team right now, which is a little weird. Okay. And we're good. The whale shark is immune to the phoenix. Because he lives underwater, presumably. Kind of like the bird of paradise here. Is Dodo worth? <laughs> That's the question. Maybe. Maybe we ditch you. You're running like this. Yeah, no, I like this. I think this is cool. So now... I think we still run it like this. So now you guys, it's still super disjointed, but not in a bad way. Or is it better to ditch the Dodo now? <laughs> is that... is it better to just do... Because we could get the Sabertooth and still get the Bird of Paradise trigger off again if we ditch Dodo. I don't know if it's better though. I don't think so actually. Let's try keeping him. More fun that way. Okay. So yeah, you three are like one team, you two are our backup in case the first team fails. Is basically our setup right now. It's kind of working a little bit, you know? Not too bad. <laughs> there it is. This is the jankest team ever. Generally would not recommend, but in this case... Yeah, kind of nice. Ornicopias. I don't think they fit that well with this team. I like you. 
We going for, for big turtle here? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Our dodo isn't scaling very well, but ideally this will help with that a little bit. Oh, I'm so glad the dodo didn't get killed there. That may have won us the round, actually. Him being just a little healthier. Roll me once. Hoping we'd get the bird of paradise there. Get the extra trigger, but that's okay. No worries. Yeah, definitely one of the weirder builds. I have to say. Oh yeah, about that. <laughs> about that. A perfect kill on both of these guys. Kind of hurts. Let's ignore the dodo for a second. Try to get the bird of paradise as our primary focus. And fail at that largely. One more roll. Nothing. <laughs> One turn too late, of course. Okay, that's fine. Not worried about that. We're still doing okay for ourselves. Again, not the best team ever, but never claimed to be. Of course, it just dodges this guy, naturally. <laughs> Fortunately, it didn't matter. Just wanted to point that one out. The the burn got everyone except for the whale shark who's immune to it. Not even immune, it it's benefits from the burn. The give that yeah, I mean getting you to three seems like it's not gonna matter that much in the grand scheme of things. Maybe we just start cooking here. Or cooking here would actually make more sense, I think. <laughs> now that I think about it. Like, you could get this cooking, or you could just get four fours from the get-go. Yeah, that's probably the way to do it. Short of any huge snipes or anything, I think we're in a good spot here. Yeah, we're good, we're good. We're doing work out here. We're getting the whale shark nice and big. And then eventually, once he's 50-50, Bird of Paradise is going to have perfect targeting on the other three. Holy cannoli. This is where a whale shark comes into play. Okay. Whale shark is actually insane this weekly. Hold on. Hold on, we might be cooking here. Okay. Freeze you. Yeah, that's more like it. I was hoping we would find a turtle there. And a phoenix? Sure. We could try getting our phoenix higher level. How do we fare against this kind of team? Not too bad, actually. Mm-hmm, and then you keep eating? Okay. A lot of people are trying this phoenix in the back, and our whale shark is just loving it. Maybe we don't care about this, right? Maybe we try to find the phoenix. And if we don't, we'll back up for the whale shark stats. There's the phoenix. That's huge. Okay. Um, okay, so I think we probably don't need to freeze because we have so many held food options. You're almost 50 attack. That's huge. Hmm, I don't like that we went first there, for obvious reasons. But we're good, maybe? Might be good. 
Now you're gonna eat and then buff yourself from it. Fantastic. Dude, I think we found the counter. Okay, so if we play both of these on here, then you're guaranteed to hit the guys that we want. Perfect. And now, yeah, we're just kind of doing whatever at this point. Just do what makes sense and try to scale up as much as we can. That's all we really can do. Okay. I think we're okay. Then you're gonna buff you. <laughs> the whale shark. See, he is at four health. We would have drawn that, but he got healed from the from the phoenix. Look at that. What a hodgepodge mishmash team. But all components of it just played so synergistically together. I love it. I don't really want to get doubles on those guys. do this. I want to ditch those guys as soon as possible. I think this will be good. Okay. Still at five hearts. You reach turn three with a lost life. Gain one back. Just rub it in, why don't you? Hold on to you. Drop this guy. I'd love to sell you for somebody. Maybe we sell it for an opossum. At least it's better than the alternative, right? Even if very marginally. Okay. Taking out the swan. Love to see it. Let's roll. Sure. Give me a level. An ox is pretty good. I would say. Give him a little bacon, make him slightly better. Three times stronger, actually. You think about it. And we're good. I'm liking this ox in the back setup. Feels quite strong. We could throw the ant in. I kind of want to start pivoting, though. Like, let's do this here. Maybe run like that. That feels like, you know, you're not going too crazy, but it feels like a strong pivot. Okay. Looking good. See if we can get this dodo going up a bit. On to you. Sure. We're gonna like that. Kind of a strange team, but maybe it'll get us there. Okay, we got the jump on him. That's a good start. And we're good. Now we have lasagna, we can throw on the dodo. Get some oven mitts. We could throw in a whale shark, potentially. Any rock, something like that. Three six is significantly better than one four. So we'll start there. is very unfortunate. That's the perks of getting having a stronger drop bear. We would have won if ours went first. Okay, croissant on you. That's a natural. Now we have no faints. Let's keep rolling here. Pretty 
really like some levels. Maybe we can do that. Thank you. Manatee, maybe? Ditch the drop bear for the manatee. Oh, off by a smidgen. Okay, well we have a good setup here. We ditch you. We level you. Hold on. Thoropod I like even more. I kinda wanna get rid of the ox, is that crazy? Like what if we do this? And then we ditch the ox for a manatee and then go like that. Oh, hold on. We might be onto something here. That's a lot of attack going on our sauropod who has a ton of health. Mm, looking good. Okay, maybe we're onto something. Hold up. Level me. And level me. Oven mitts, of course. Um, let's see. We're level one sauropod. We can't buy two foods. The bird of paradise is a natural pick. Maybe we run it like this. We go here. That's fantastic. Little whale shark combo, you know? We'll ditch the manatee for the bird of paradise, and then we'll kind of just go off, I guess is the plan. <laughs> Very concrete, actionable plan we got there. Okay, tier six. Go here. Um, I think we go here. And we go here. We get to roll one time. Doing a peach thing. It's hard to justify when you've got the whale shark too. But we also have the money to do it. I guess, yeah. <laughs> I guess we do. And then we roll, get another bird of paradise trigger. That's pretty solid. All things considered, I like it. Maybe we get rid of the dog soon. He's not doing a whole lot. You get all that health on those guys and they don't do anything with it. It's a shame. Okay. I think we just keep the dodo cooking. He's our big dog in the house. Okay, I like this. Share the love a little. We go here. Two triggers. If we get two good foods here, we can use them both. That would be huge. Those are good enough. And we won't be able to trigger you again. Actually, hold on, I take that back. We can trigger you again if we sell you and get something else. Oh, baby. Straight up, I'm gonna leave it open. This is a very solid team. Like, turn next turn with the cornucopia and the sauropod and then we can refresh with this guy. I think that's that is gonna be really good. So yes we're four squatting but I don't think it's a huge issue. Maybe. <laughs> Depending how much damage this does. Oh it doesn't do any because of the whale shark. That's perfect. Okay. So yeah now we cornucopia just get a whole boatload of triggers on the sauropod. Whatever we pick, they're going into the whale shark. We go here. And then we play this. 
Actually, roll once. Don't want to waste that, the scaling. So go here, combine onto you. Alright, so now you're refreshed. Give you some chocolate. <laughs> Another sauropod. We'll save him for next turn. Now we go here. Okay, so we need to play another one. I guess just give him cheese, right? That seems like the better option. And then what, a melon? No, we can't, can't do a melon. <laughs> then I don't know. Hold on to you for later. Okay, I mean this team is really strong, don't get me wrong. We just only have three guys. <laughs> Which might pose an issue. We'll see. Yep. Not enough homies. That's our issue. <laughs> Not enough homies. Um, who do we want to add in though? That's the question. Like there's not a whole lot to really add in here. Go Grizzly maybe? Not that it's like incredible, but it's something. Go like that. Okay. Is it like the best thing ever? Not really, but it's not bad either, I guess. Okay, looking good. Can we pull off the clutch? Finish it out strong here. Another peach of immortality, sure, sure. I think we do it like this actually. We go here. I wanna get a level three bird of paradise. But this is definitely more important right now. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna run it like this. A little unconventional, but I think it's the way to do it. And then we go here. Refresh. Um, don't need you. Now let's say we don't need Bird of Paradise, right? No, maybe we do. <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay. Then we go here. And then... We have to play it again. Let's put on you, because we don't want anyone else, I guess. Yeah, because then we'll get another Bird of Paradise trigger, and that's big. Okay. This team feels weird. It's a good whale shark setup. Okay, hold on. <laughs> okay, we actually got there. So, yeah, basically whale shark, very good when you have sauropod. Maybe that just means sauropod is good, you know? But you can scale, like if we found some more whale sharks, you could scale them up pretty darn quick with this homie and this homie. Mosquito me. Go another mosquito. I really, I hate Pied Tamarin with a burning passion. <laughs> it just doesn't feel good. So we're not gonna freeze him. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So you have to make sure we don't lose this next one. In a pinch, we're gonna have to do a Pied Tamarin, but I don't love it. Okay, and we always want to put the big guy in the back. For some reason, it just works this weekly. Don't ask. I don't know. I'm not sure why. Um, okay, we're drawn. That's all we needed. As long as we didn't lose there, I'm happy. We're going for the late game. Ooh. That's always the difficult decision. Do you go cappy or do you go puppy? Now, I would argue... 
Cappy in in this kind of weekly where it's a lot of pivoting and you don't like the early game guys, definitely go Cappy. It's like, who are you going to use a lasagna on if they all suck? You know? Valid questions out here. And that's just, that's an easy one. King car, nice try. Okay, get a little buff swan action. Ooh, another drop bear. Thank you, thank you. Another drop bear. I think we freeze him. Try to get a tier 4 next turn. And we'll just... I guess roll a couple times, see if we get another good. Okay. <laughs> we got a lot more drop bears. Guess we're going level 3 drop bear. The fates have, t have spoken. And that is what they have t instructed us to do. Alright, tier 3. Let's see what we got. Bison, I mean, we are going to be getting a drop bear level 3, aren't we? At least that's the goal. Let's run a hopeful bison. <laughs> see how long it takes. Alright, we're starting on turn 5. See how many turns it takes to find one more drop bear for a bison. Mm -hmm, that's fine. And it looks like... Oh, Drop Bear gets it for us. Thank you. I thought we were going to tie, but the Drop Bear helps out a lot. Okay. Any Drop Bears in the shop? That would be nice. Another Swan is pretty good. I'd rather get a Drop Bear if we can. Oh, we only had to wait one turn. That's huge. And we got another Swan. Okay, this is looking like ditch the capybara next turn kind of vibe. Okay. Very fortunate that the drop bear was able to attack twice there. Okay, so let's level, see what we get here. I mean, that's a husky right there. Good buy, sell, drop a husky in. Is it a conventional husky build? No but it's still pretty good. We got two passive scaling sources, plus a, an economy pet. Hmm, okay. That's great. Yo, level three drop bear, kinda hard. Okay. Blowfish is solid if we can get it leveled. It's always the tricky part though, you know? How do you get the blowfish cooking? Just kidding. I think whale shark is very solid. Whale shark is just so good this weekly. You don't even have to feed it yourself that much. You know, the, the enemies feed it with all their garbage. See, look. Look at that. And we get the draw. Between the, the silver, what is that? Not silver fox. Whatever, the frost wolf, that's what it's called. Between the frost wolf and the, the phoenix especially. Yeah, dude, we're cooking. I mean, saber tooth is pretty good. <laughs> saber tooth with the, the husky. How do you say no? All right, big guy in the front, big guy in the back. That's our plan. Front guy breaks their big front unit. And then everybody in the middle just kind of dukes it out. Well, in theory, the bad guy would have cleaned it up, but... Next time. <laughs> Ooh, little chocolate. If we can find a husky, I'll full send the husky. Ooh, okay, there we go. Otherwise, we could have just put it on the whale shark. Give him the donut. But husky is obviously better. Okay, maybe we should have the whale shark further up. Because then it would have absorbed the frost there. Okay, how do we want to do this? I mean... Do we whale shark? Do we buffalo? Not buffalo, bison. 
Bison's going to scale quicker. Whale Shark is going to give us more. More high. Well, we got both of them. <laughs> we got both in the end. Don't even matter. Alright, level 3 Bison. I don't think it's going to be necessary. I'm looking good. Okay. Looking not good at all. Very bad, actually. <laughs> Dude, I didn't realize how strong that thing is. You get a level 3 and it's an 18-18. Insanity. Alright. Oh, dude. This, I love this feeling. When you're just cooking through and you're just getting all sorts of buffs and level ups and everything. It's so satisfying. Mm, I don't think that's going to be enough to get him there. No. Our whale shark is too big. Okay, so we'll, we'll throw the saber tooth on there. I don't know who we want to use the chocolate on yet. There isn't like a clear... Oh, well, now there is. <laughs> I was going to say there isn't a clear answer, but that answered it for us. So I think at this point... I think we put the whale shark in spot two. To catch any frost wolf, maybe even a phoenix if the phoenix is up front. Okay. Ooh, off by one. That hurts. I think... Oh, we're good by one health. Okay, that was a little close. That was too close for comfort right there. Okay, I... Th the best play we're gonna have at this point is getting this husky to level 3. That's gonna be our biggest power spike. We didn't find any held foods, unfortunately. But I guess the, the lasagna's fine. <laughs> it's okay, I guess. Alright, whale shark, do your magic. You know how to do it. Oh, perfect lethal, thank you. Don't think it mattered, but thank you anyways, Mr. Whale Shark. Okay. I think we just keep feeding the homie, right? There it is. I mean, this is... This is as good as it gets, right? I don't really want to run the Phoenix here. Obviously, Phoenix could be pretty solid, but... It just feels lame. You know, everyone's running Phoenix. The whole point is we're we're denying the Phoenix homies. And if we're running them too, then we're just as bad. Perfect. Up to seven wins. That's huge. Um, it feels a little late for Peach of Immortality, but again, we got some turns left. If we find enough of them, maybe it'll scale up quick. Um, there's all our huskies. See, my issue with husky is... I oh, don't want to use the bacon. My issue with husky is pretty obvious, I think, but you're basically four squatting, right? Can't buff itself. There we go. Whale shark doing work as usual. Thank you, thank you. At this point, there's really no reason to buff Whale Shark anymore. Between the passive buffs from Husky and then just eating stuff in battle, he's pretty well off. Okay, well I'm glad we started doing Peach of Immortality. We're finding them everywhere now for some reason. Okay, what do you got? The chicken build? A fairly slow chicken build at that. Um, he will get one more hit off. Is that going to be enough? No, fortunately not. But he got... Was that three? Was that two or three bear triggers? I think two. But that's still a lot. Already on 5-5, five, five, and we just started Peach of Immortality like three turns ago. How insane is that? 
Okay. See, I mean, we could start buffing the husky, but at this point, I think it's a lost cause. <laughs> like, we'd rather just pivot off of the husky once everyone gets big enough. Hmm. See what we get here. We could con peto. We want to keep the whale shark, but the bison for sure. I think that's bad for us, <laughs> right? That's that's not good, right? Because all my guys are basically max health anyways. Okay, well let's see. Yeah, it definitely helps him more, but whale shark, do your magic. Let's see it. I guess it's only a level 1 Manticore, so it doesn't matter too much anyways. And there it is. If the Manticore was level 3, I think we lose there. Or at least draw. But it wasn't, so we're good. Not too bad. <laughs> this is the power of the Whale Shark. Husky helped, but Whale Shark taking on those ailment build teams that are so prevalent this week. Love to see it. If you made it this far, odds are you're enjoying the content. And I've got great news for you. There's plenty more where that came from. Check out these videos here that YouTube thinks that you might enjoy. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a good one.